they'll have someone, I think they've got new signings coming in. I think they'll be just as good. So regardless who we play, we've always got to be switched on and, and ready to go because the minute you think you've got away with one, it's when, when someone's going to come and, and obviously start, startle you. So, yeah, you, you've got to be ready for whatever middles we have got. Yeah, I'm just curious about a young Mali international that has joined you recently. I suppose he's played two games in the championship. He's only 20 years old, Brahim, Brahim Diara. What have you noticed about him in sort of the training ground around the camp, how he's settling into a new country coming from France? Uh, I suppose he plays in that attacking midfielder role. Have you come across him? Do your pats clash in training? Does he sort of not play an orthodox out-and-out striker? Does he play in the hole more than such? Yeah, Brahim is definitely an att attacking midfielder. Um, he just plays in front in front of the midfield too. Um, he gives us plenty of legs. He's, he's very athletic. He's dribbling with the ball. He's the best, probably one of the best at the club, drib dribbling regarding taking pe people on. And I think if we can just get it to click with him in front of goal, it's just that final little key moment. But, but it will come. He's got better and better every week. And I think... Uh, He's one of our players that, as soon as players like me, we need to get him on the ball. That's my job to to get him on the ball and and get him in the attacking half and causing de defenses problems. And is he a nice foil for Danny Ward to play off? Obviously, he has the pace uh, to run in behind any knockdowns, knockdowns or knockdowns coming off uh, Danny Ward as well. So is is he one of the players that can really go past Danny Ward and bomb on in terms of that sort of license that you can give him? I'd say Brahim is more ball to the feet sort of player, um, but he also can run on. But Brahim's strengths is turning with the ball, turning in tight spaces, and, and driving, dribbling past players. That's that's his strengths. But Brahim also can run the channels. He could he can get in around Wardy, and he just needs to work on his shooting a little bit, and he might have a few more goals. <laughs> yeah, Matty, you all you know very well about goals anyway uh, from set pieces. Uh, from uh, headed sort of goals as well. And do you feel, I spoke last week, I spoke to Jack Rodoni about everyone chipping in with goals and how it was crucial towards the, the back end of the tail end of last season. Do you think that's going to be much the case this year, that you're going to have to share the load between you in terms of goals? I, th I think a successful team shares the load. I think uh, you look at any team, that they always have goals in the team. And when you don't have goals in the team, that's where, where you end up sliding down the table a little bit and I think uh, if we can share the load this year there's no reason why we can't push on and, and, and get going and I think even the season we got to the playoffs we all shared the load it won't us what he got I think 10 or or just above 10 I'm not sure but we was majority of us shared the goals and that's what successful teams do and that's what we're going to try and do this year and I suppose finally, Matty, I suppose the playoffs and uh, playoff championship finals, semi-finals, it can have a devastating sort of a, a, an effect on a team you know all too well uh, coming up short in the playoff final. But it almost feels like Mill Millsborough started that season caught in the doldrums of last season where many people expected them really to go up maybe and, and once they hit that playoffs and just things didn't work out for them and it sort of spiralled on now to start the season. That defeat against Coventry was a heavy one as well. So obviously confidence is going to be a bit low. While you were in the games against Plymouth and dare I say Leicester are well, Millsborough were well beaten by Coventry uh, last last weekend. Is that something you can really capitalise on? Maybe that playoff hangover until Millsborough get it out of their system. Yeah, but it just means they're going to have more focus on this game. Um, we know Middlesbrough are no pushover. They're they're a really strong team, and uh, we've got to be fully on, fully on our game game to get anything. And I think I'll make sure the boys the boys are ready for it because you can't go to Middlesbrough away to Middlesbrough and just expect to, to to for them to be feeling sorry for themselves. And I think they'll be well up for the game as we need to be as well. Cheers, Matty. Cheers. Thank you very much, everybody.